from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a huge day with a new week upon us and that housing data and Vice Chair Brainard expected to speak this week. We're going to get new guidance on this inflation, this economy, and your money. And that comes after the CPI surge, the PPI surge, and retail sales was a big surprise on Friday. But that is why you don't wait. You need to get that fourth stimulus check that is in every U.S. state. It's approximately $100,000. We're going to go over that incredible check later in this recording. You deserve the money, and you're going to get it. We're going to go over these incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state coming up later this quarter. Single individual, $75,000 or less, you qualify. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you qualify. And yes, it's approximately $100,000. We're going to go over all that incredible money coming up later in this quarter. The other breaking news based upon that rise of inflation this last week is that your benefits could be going up $5,000 more per year. Not just one year, but a lifetime. We have the incredible news about that as inflation is not going down and Jay Powell has a big task ahead of him this coming week. We'll go over what they're going to be doing with this big money, but you don't wait. You go right in this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP, and get the newsletter that's getting people fortunes. An average of $100,000 of stimulus checks are available for you, and we're going to be going over those later in this recording, stay to the very end. But it was a big week, and another week is upon us. We're going to go over the new week, what's coming with those housing data. The CPI, the PPI, and the retail sales numbers was a major shock. With the U.S. economy already in a recession, we'll go over what you need to know in this economy. Plus, we'll be looking at what we expect for unemployment this week as it surged out of control last week. A lot of data in just a short period of time. Plus, we'll understand why the Build Back Better Act is still likely to get done, the vote, and what you need to know. But you're not going to wait for the Build Back Better Act. You can get the big money that's available today. Go right in this video, subscribe, and become a member. And stay with me over this one-hour broadcast. We have a lot of money and a lot of great news. It's a big day. It's a big afternoon. And the details start right here as Afternoons starts right now. And good afternoon. I hope you have a beautiful day. This next week will be exciting because the housing data is going to be released and a VC Brainard will be speaking. It's a big week with a lot of data. Boy, are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> wow. This last week, we saw the CPI released on Wednesday, the PPI released on Thursday. And on Friday, the retail sales. Today, we see the LSI released, the Lobster Shorts Index. It's not going to look good. <laughs> but other than that, everything else was a big shocker this week. As inflation did not settle down, the CPI beat on Wednesday, the PPI beat on Thursday, and the retail sales higher than expected. Two things you need to know about that going into this new week that we're going to have housing data starts released this week and a lot of other housing data. And that will give us more indication about where this economy is. We're going to have a lot of housing data this week. We're going to have the National Association of Home Builders will post their numbers on Monday. On Tuesday, we'll have the housing starts. And on Wednesday, we have the existing home sales. This is all housing data. What is this data for? It's for inflation. It gives you a data on what's going on with inflation. And then Thursday, the Philadelphia Manufacturing Service. Relief, but both manufacturing, retail sales, and PMI are released on 
Friday. This is big news because it shows us where this economy is going. We learned a lot about it this week, this last week. Let's go over what we learned in the last week. We got the CPI on Wednesday, the PPI on Thursday, and the retail sales on Friday. And they all collectively said the same thing, that inflation has not peaked in this economy. Let's go over what we know going into a new week and a new and a new question mark for this economy. We started with a very shocking announcement and that came on Wednesday when the CPI surged out of control. Came on Thursday with the PPI with a major meat beat and then on Friday with those retail sales going through the roof. Let's go over what you need to know starting right now. On Wednesday, this consumer price index number, the CPI, was released for the month of June as a major beat. It came in at 9.1% year to date. This is higher than Wall Street expected and certainly higher than the month of May. Wall Street was looking for an 8.6% read. This is the highest number that we've seen since the 1980s. This CPI is really good news for you, though. Why? Because your benefits are going to go up a lot. How much? Well, at the moment, it's looking like about $5,000. Let's go over what would happen with that CPI on Wednesday. It's great news for you if you're on benefits. Again, it's an inflationary number, released this last Wednesday. It's for the month of June. It's one month delayed. And it was the month of May, we had seen a, a very high number. This is, again, inflation. May it was 8.6%. So what happened on Wednesday? Wednesday, 9.1%. Ouch. Really shocking. Showing the inflation is going up still. It has not peaked. It's still going higher. But this is great news for you and your benefits. Why is it great news? Because your benefits are tied to a subsection of that number. A subsection of that number, CPI. It's called CPI-W. And all you and I have to do is watch the months of July, which we're in right now, August and September, to see if this number stays as high as it is or higher. If that's the case, your benefits are going up an enormous amount. I'm so excited for you. About $5,000 a year lifetime. The biggest increase you will ever see of a generation. And we're going to experience as a family together on this channel. But let's go back into that CPI number released on Wednesday. It was out of control. It was out of control. It showed that it beat the estimate expected for Wall Street of 8.8%. It showed that it was higher than the month of May. And it also finally showed that inflation has not peaked. It has still not gone down. Was this a surprise for you and I? The Wednesday number was not a surprise because we had had the core personal consumption number the week before. And it showed over three consecutive months, its inflationary number had not gone down. That's why you watch this channel. That's why you know where this economy is and where it's going on a daily basis by learning and earning on these videos. Because we as a family had already seen a pre CPI number, the core personal consumption the week before, showing inflation had not gone down. We were not surprised when we saw this CPI go higher in the month of June. The CPI, why did it go higher in the month of June? Because even when you adjust for food and energy, the core number was still higher. So even if you take out gasoline, even if you take out the consumer goods like milk and eggs, it still went higher 5.9% year to date compared to the 5.7%. And what's important is that when you look at the numbers overall, it did not settle down. The CPI delivered another shock. And as painful as June's number is, it's equally as bad in broadening sources of inflation, says Robert Fick, chief economist at National Federal Credit Union. I like that quote. Why? Because he basically says, you're seeing inflation now hit a lot of other sections, sections of the economy. It's not just gasoline. It's not just food and eggs. It's hitting a broad section of the economy. Though CPI spike is led by energy and food prices, which are largely global prices, prices continue to mount for domestic goods and services from sheltered auto to apparel. Was there anything good in the Wednesday number? Well, starting on Wednesday all the way in through Friday, a lot of analysts who I do agree with said they're starting to see some supply chain disruption easing. That's good news. Supply chain disruption is getting the products from the factory to you. It's improving. 
and that is all great news. U.S. inflation is above 9%, but its breadth of the price pressure is really concerning for the Federal Reserve, says James Knightley, in a comment obtained by Allied News. ING's, he's ING's chief economist. With supply chain disruption showing little sign of improvement, he doesn't think it's improving, and the onus is on the Federal Reserve to hit the brakes, really shocking across the board, which numbers showed a lot of increases. A lot of increases were for generally the stuff that you would, uh, would buy uh, on a regular basis. Real income was down because gas Guess what? Your salaries did not go up based upon how much the cost of goods were also going up. Upon that announcement of that CPI that Joe Biden, your president of the United States, said he tackling inflation is my top priority. But once again, he didn't tell you how. He just said it is. But here comes some of the good comments. Wednesday, we had indication that supply chain disruption may be improving. Brian Antonella, Senior Vice President of Fleet Operations at Fleet Advantage, they would know. He says, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. So he saw some improvement across the board. That was Wednesday. Thursday, the producer price index number was released. It's the sister brother to the CPI. The CPI is consumers and their products that they buy. The PPI is producers, wholesalers who buy products to resell, and their number went higher as well. The producer price index number only on Thursday was a beat as well, and it showed uh, that it was near the record number ever reported. Oh boy, folks. <laughs> it just doesn't stop there, does it? Uh, the producer price index rose 11.3% from year to date on the month of June, and that's close to 11.6% posted. It, it's a number that doesn't look good. It almost doesn't look, look as good as uh, the, the LSI index, the lobster short index. It never looks good. <clears throat> it just never looks good. It doesn't matter how you window dress the lobster short index. Lobster short index just never looks good. <laughs> Let's go uh, to what else we learned about that producer price index number. It showed that excluding food and energy, the core was still up 6.4%, and that was a monthly gain as well. Wow. That was Thursday. And then came Friday. You're getting a lot in this video, aren't you? I'm just overwhelmed by how much we're only 11 minutes of the video. It's just out of control. By Thursday, the retail sales numbers were awful. Now, before we get into those, this is why you need to get a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. You got to get it. Those four stimulus checks, which are in every U.S. state, are astronomically wonderful. And if these two numbers you have heard about inflation, these concerns about recession, are not enough indication for you that you need to get them, well, let's understand to get them right now. You need to get that four stimulus check in every U.S. state, and those four stimulus checks are available right now. And they're just wonderful. Why would you wait to get them? Let's go over those incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state starting right now. They're about $100,000. Yes. And they were made law by executive action from Joseph Biden, your president, back in March. They are are for you. You qualify. Single individual, $75,000 or less. Married couple, $150,000 or less. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Veterans Benefits, go get it. How do you get it? Go right on this video, become a member. Join this channel. Become a member, go on to the video, it says join the channel, and get these incredible checks. I'm going to go over each of these checks one at a time with you later in this recording. Go right on this video and become a member today and stay the second half as we go over each of these incredible checks one at a time. What did we also see? We also saw that that PPI was followed up with a horrible, horrible um, retail sales number. The retail sales number, not particularly good. Now, why did I say horrible? Because it basically signaled inflation was going higher. Those retail sales released on Friday were also higher across the board. Now, the retail sales number is a little bit different. This is how many how much is spent going into the stores, going to the stores and going online? How much is spending? It's a, complica complica uh, a complicated number. Why? Because it's the amount that you spent. So let's say you bought a, a one product in February and you bought the same one product in June, but the product is five times more expensive now. Then it'll show that retail sales went up. Even though you still bought the one product, it's because the product's more expensive. That's why the number's a little bit confusing. What's also important about the number is that the number shows that people are spending. So what happened? 
on Thursday, Fed, Gov uh, Fed Governor Waller said he wanted to see this number. He said if the data comes in materially stronger for retail sales, it would make me lean larger toward a larger rate hike at the July meeting. Well, what happened? <laughs> it came in higher than expected. Retail sales rose 1% in the month of June, higher than Wall Street expected. This is the PPI released on Friday. I think it should be the retail sales released on Friday. Higher than the 0.9% expected. So retail sales was also a major beat. Retail sales went up after the PPI went up and also after the CPI went up. Now, what's even more reason to get a forced demos check? Because the analysts are getting so darn confused. They're getting really confused. And if they're confused, you don't want to wait around to get the stimulus because that means this economy is a hard economy to analyze. It is a hard economy to analyze. Let me tell you what happened on Friday. On Friday, I think it was on Afternoons Highlight, I said, the data came out on retail sales. It's stronger than expected. That means the Federal Reserve is going to do something more aggressive. That's pretty easy, isn't it? Well, what happened with analysts? Between Afternoons Highlight and Evenings Highlight, they went from saying incorrect stuff to buy Evenings Highlight. They were arguing with each other, saying it's not good news. It is good news. It's bad news. It's good news. It's bad news. It's good news. They couldn't figure it out. Let me explain to you why. And let me also explain to you what your focus needs to be. Your focus needs to be on, do we have inflation? How high is that inflation? And are we in a recession? And is that recession hitting me? I need to explain to you why those should be your two focal points. First, you need to know, is inflation where it is? Is it getting worse or is it softening? Is it going down? Why? Because your benefits, obviously. You need to know that because your benefits. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Veterans Benefits, RB, you need to watch if inflation is where it is or getting worse or, or getting higher. If it's going higher or about the same, then you're going to look at that beautiful $5,000 approximately in your wallet. If inflation is going down, then you're not going to get as much money. You're going to get less inf of inflation rise. That's why you and I know that inflation is an important story for you. It's a very important story for you. If you know where inflation is by watching the videos on a regular basis, you know how much your benefits are going up. The second important story is recession. Recession because it all impacts your cost of living. You need to be able to afford to live, and you need to know where that recession is on a daily basis. So where are we on those two points? One, of, I'll get to them in just one second. But let me go back to what happened with those analysts. The analysts were debating the retail sales numbers like they were debating the virtues of lobster sauce. There's nothing to debate. It's not delicious. <clears throat> it's just, it's not good. Not good. Anyone says good, you know, you're from Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> you're from Kentucky and you work for governor's office. You work for senator's office. I know, yeah. It, there's nothing good about lobster sauce. It's all bad. Uh, so let's go over why I don't think their argument or their debate is important for us. Why? Because they're trying to do this analysis of whether the Federal Reserve is doing a three quarters of a basis point increase or a full basis point increase, 75 or 100. Is retail sales going to drive the Federal Reserve to do 75 or 100? Is retail sales good or bad to drive the Federal Reserve to do 75 or 100? Do I care? I really don't care. Do you care? You don't really care. We don't care. Why? 75 basis point is not good. 100 basis point is not good. It's, it's, it's a very austere, very severe rate increase. Rate increase for interest rates. Either one of them is not particularly good. And to say it's 75 versus 100, uh, yeah, who cares? It, they're both very bad. And to look at the retail sales and debate, uh, is the Federal Reserve going to go here or there? It's just basically debating, is lobster sauce ever good? It's never good, except if you live in Kentucky <laughs> and work for Senator's office. It's just never good. So that is why we're moving forward to the other subject matter that is really important that hit this week as well. And that other subject matter that hit this week as well, which is hideously important for you, your family, your neighbors, your friends, and your fam and and their and their families as well, is not is the recession. The recession manifests itself in earnings. It, it manifests itself in labor. And what did we learn about that? Well, we learned we're already in a recession. We understood that earnings recession is upon us and may continue to manifest itself more than anything else. This was the second biggest story of the week, the earnings recession. Earnings recession, what does that mean? It means corporations reported their second quarter earnings this year 
That's a sec. That's the the next three months. We had the first quarter. That's the first three months. The second quarter. This is the next three months. They reported their corporate earnings, and their corporate earnings were down nearly forty eight percent. That's an earnings recession. That means their growth is not happening. It means they're not growing as a business. They're shrinking earnings wise nearly 50% and three quarters. And analysts, I love them, were going after other analysts saying, did you see the earnings reports? They were down 50%. Who says that's good news? That's horrible good news. Moreover, let me give you my takeaway and, and give you my spin on what they're saying as well. Some of these stocks, after the companies reported earnings down 50%, were up three or 4% for the day. Who trades up a stock when the earnings are down 50%? They're in a recession. Does this sound familiar? It does sound familiar. It happened last Friday. So earnings recession, absolutely happening. Let's go on over what's happening in this coming week because we're going to have Brainard, who's the vice chair of the Federal Reserve under Jay Powell, speaking on Tuesday. But in addition to those housing data and Brainard and the graphic you saw earlier, we're going to have some major corporate earnings coming this new week. We have a lot of banks on Monday, Bank of America and Goldman Sachs and Charles Schwab. Tuesday, we have some technologies. Uh, thir- Wednesday, we have a lot of transportation companies, United Airlines. Um, we also have at Tesla. And then on Thursday, we have a lot of healthcare. And Friday, we have... Um, for rise in Am- America Express, sort of a mixture. The market is getting a little bit more convinced the Federal Reserve is not going to be delivering a full point increase. <laughs> did, I, did I tell you right? There we go. Here comes a quote. Here comes a quote from Edward Moya, Senior Niles, and Onada. It's just, you know, what is the Fed going to do? What is it going to do? Who cares? I mean, it's basically going to do three quarters of a quarter. We got it. I mean, it doesn't make any fundamental difference to you whatsoever. This is why you have to get that force to check in every U.S. state. Have you become a member? Go right in this video right now. Become a member because guess what? In the next 30 days, 90 days, gasoline prices are going to stay high. The CPI is going to stay high and the Federal Reserve is going to raise rates. Become a member. Go right in this video. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. Get those incredible checks Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Get those incredible checks all day long because that's what they're available. Business does not close for stimulus. You can keep on getting them all the time. Now, let's go to something else that's very important, which is the Allied newsletter, the Allied newsletter and those Allied worksheets. Those Allied worksheets are available for members to this channel, and boy, are they helpful. The Allied worksheets have been really applauded by viewers. These are completely unique, the only creation, a, a creation only to Allied. I came up with the idea, and I, I made these for you. These incredible worksheets are, a, are pages, a series of pages, five pages, a PDF, Featured in the membership newsletter. They're almost at the third line down from the top. And you want to print them out if you have a printer. If you don't, take notes on a separate piece of paper. Let's go over what we learned about these five these pages today. The first page is the economy, inflation. We learned that inflation has not peaked. Number two, these are things you should take notes right now if you have that worksheet in front of you. Recession. We didn't learn a lot more about the recession from an economic standpoint, but we learned about more about it from an earnings standpoint. Corporate earnings showed major falls across the board in the second quarter of this year release this week. Major earnings recession as corporations are posting earnings down 50%. Labor, oh, I was about to get to that graphic in a second. <laughs> Let's just jump in right now. Labor sw- swirled out of control. 244,000 new jobless claims released on Thursday. The worst number of 2020. Two, it surged dramatically from 180,000 to 244,000 in just a few weeks. It went to 200, then it went to 230, 230, 230, 235, now 244. And then the Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve meeting on July 26th and July 27th for that Ju- July FOMC meeting. They're going to do three quarters of a qu- or full basis point. I say it's going to be full. I say it's 100% full basis point. And <laughs> what are Wall Street analysts doing? I'm breaking news on this as well. This is brand new. You're hearing today for July 16th, 2022. The analysts on Wednesday, 84% belie- agreed with me. 100 basis point increase on from the Federal Reserve coming up. Then they went to 44% on, on 
Thursday and Friday. By Saturday, the same report came out and says it's down to 20%. So they have gone, those analysts, from thinking on Wednesday, it's going to be 100 basis points to now think it's only uh, a, a 20% chance. <laughs> am I changing? No, I'm not changing. I'm staying where I am. Now, that in the next page of our worksheet is so important. How many check sees did you reach out and get to this week? Uh, it should have been a couple. Absolutely should have been a couple. The second page of the worksheet as the incredible table created by me to, for you to keep track of your stimulus. Check A, what day did you apply? What day did you, uh, what day did you get approved? Check B, what day did you apply? Check C's. Who did you call for each of those check C's? Remember the check C's is a lot of them. There's a lot of check C's. You have a lot of utility bills. Of course you do. You have a lot of utility bills and you have a lot of places, different places to get those utility bills paid from. A lot. All, upwards of 20 different places. They're all in the membership newsletter. So you got to keep track of that. That's why you need a table. You need a, you need a ledger. You need, a, you need a, a, an easy way to keep track of when you applied, what much you got to pay for. Let's say you got paid for the month of May and June as a member. Well, hello, it's July. <laughs> Go out and get another check, get some more money. That is the benefit of being a member. Now, let's remember what these four stimulus checks are in every U.S. state. Let's recap. Those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state are absolutely wonderful. Back in the month of May, they became a law. These four stimulus checks are federal stimulus. They're not state stimulus. They're not from your state governor. They're not from your state bank accounts. They're from the federal law government. They're approximately $100,000. They're in every U.S. state done by executive action from your president of the United States, Joseph Biden, in the month of March. That is why it's federal stimulus. And yes, viewers have gotten it. Viewers have cleaned up. You qualify. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children, if you're on benefits, SSI or SSDI benefits, benefits as well, get it. Become a member. How do you become a member? Go right on this video, join the channel. Become a member and get that incredible financial freedom and be part of the best family there is out there, the Purple Power community. Go right on this video, become a member. Get that incredible membership newsletter and get those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. And after that, and and the commercial break will be back. After the commercial break, we'll be back on and we'll go over each of these individual checks one at a time. Then we'll return to the five thousand dollars. Your benefits could be going up a lifetime. And then we'll touch back on the Build Back Better Act. It's a beautiful day with a lot of breaking news. It's a weekend, but there's a lot of breaking news. I'll see you back in sixty seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. They're at Facebook. Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now in the big second half as the Build Back Better Act is back. But how soon is it? And is a pop star, a pop singer, getting involved? <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. Who is it? I have the latest details for you in the second half. But you can't wait for that Build Back Better Act. you got to get the money that's available today. For stimulus check in every U.S. state, go right on this video and become a member. If you've not, join this channel. You're watching the number three most watched 
Financial News Channel America heading to number two. A lot of great stuff coming to this channel. I'm so excited you're part of this community. Go right on this video, become a member. And with that, let's go over each of these incredible checks starting right now. Back in the month of March, viewers of this channel said, LA, can you find us some stimulus checks? Because they have not done the Build Back Better Act. Viewers have been trained really well in this channel to get money when there's money available. Don't wait for your back against the wall. Get money when times are good. And in the month of March, I looked high and low to find these checks, and I found them by executive action from Joseph Biden. They're a lot of money, approximately $100,000. You need it. You need lots of money. We are in a recession, and you need that financial stability. Second, I want to make sure there was broad eligibility. As longtime viewer Kat says, you do eligibility really well. And I found it. Then I wanted to make sure that it was easy for you to apply to get the money. And that's why I created the membership newsletters. That's what viewer Carol says, Ally, you make it so simple. You put it all right in there. And with that, let's go over each of these wonderful, wonderful checks, starting with the very first one. I've given them a lettering system, starting with the letter A and continuing thereafter. They're big checks. They've been lost since the month of March. Viewers on average have gotten about six, have gotten huge sums of money. You deserve to get the money as well. Let's look and see what viewers have gotten on each check starting right now. The first check is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less annual income, go get it. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, veterans benefits as well, go get it. It is called the Weatherizing Grant Check. How do you get it? Step one, become a member. Go right in this video, join the channel. Step two, get that membership newsletter. Step three, go down in the membership newsletter to you find check A. There it is. Has a link. Tells you a little bit more about it. Click the link and send you into the nationwide website. Then you choose your state. Then you choose the Weatherizing Grant and you pounce and get it. Writing times are about one week out. Let's go to then to check B. Yes, you're not going to wait. You're going to go right over and apply as well for check B. It is a fifteen to eighty thousand dollar fourth stimulus check in every USA. It's called the homeowners grant check, and viewers are tracking and averaging about sixty six thousand to eighty thousand dollars on this check B. How do you get it? You know the routine. First, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Number two, become a member of the channel. Go into the video where it says join the channel. Join the channel to become a member, to get the membership newsletter delivered to members via the member alerts, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Get those incredible memberships signed up under the video, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Cal Casino VIP. Go down to where it says Jack B in the membership newsletter. And then you click the links in the membership newsletter. Going right into the nationwide website, choosing your state, and pouncing and applying. Oh boy, did you see what just happened? That was incredible. In just seconds, we have gone over $100,000 of stimulus checks in this four stimulus package. Look, look at this. We went from $12,000 for check A to $80,000 for check B. There you go. That's $100,000 for you to go get. But we're not done there yet. You gotta go get some check C's as well. It is for renters, for rent, utilities, mortgage homeowners as well, mortgage assistance additionally, and it's been a law for a while. It's the residue of third stimulus, and viewers have cleaned up on this. The average view of this channel has gotten 45,000. Lots of viewers have gotten on a monthly basis $2,000, and a couple of viewers have gotten over $150,000. Let's look at the success stories from the check C's. Again, this channel has has been around since March 25th, 2020, when it launched, and has gotten people $50 million. How? Let's look at the success stories. Here are the success stories for Check C. If you are in the live chat and you've gotten any money from this channel, whether it was today or a year ago, whether it was $1 or $100 or $100,000, post it right now because you inspire other people. Let's look at the wonderful stories for Check C's. Richard all the way up to, excuse me, Nisi all the way up to Elizabeth. Do you want $30,000 for Check C for rent? Then go get Check C's. Do you want these numbers for utilities for Check C's? Then go get it. Mark's brother in law's got $15,000. That same brother in law is getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years for SNAP. That's the legacy of this channel because so many people never knew about SAP until they found this channel, like Larry Maui, who's getting SNAP a lifetime. And what about combinations? You want to get a lot of different checks. You want to get all your four to five or six different utility bills paid. You want to get your rent and also utilities. And let's look at Nisi. 
she went from 23,000 to 50,000. Mark went from 32,000 to a whopping 166,000. He went to 50, then he went to 100, then he went to 166 because he got check B. And Lorraine went from 105 to 150. What's the similarities between Lorraine, Johnny, Margaret, uh, Nisi, and Mark? They watch all the videos. You see them in the live chats all day long because they want to learn to earn and they want to move to groove. They understand you need to do three things. Know where this economy is, know where it's going, and get as much money on the come. Get it right now. So they learn as much information as they can because this is an educational, informational news channel. Number two, they keep on getting money. They keep on spending their time daily making the calls, going getting more check sees, and getting those additional sums of money. $800 here, $900 there. And if you've seen those live chat success stories in the last few days, they've been incredible. Viewers saying 10000 30000 it all adds up. Even if you got a $10,000 check today, you wouldn't stop. You would go back and get more money. Let's recap what you do. Number one, you go into this video and you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. You're watching America's number three most watched financial news channel, heading to number two with three channels. LA1, the lead channel, LA2, which covers stimulus, LA3, which covers everything else about this economy, you want to subscribe to all three channels. Number two, go under this video and become a member of LA Late One. Get that membership signed up to get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That membership newsletter will go over in just a second. Number three, there's a, a bell at the front of all the three channels. Make sure you have the bell set to all notifications. So you always get a notification when there's a new video on LA1, LA2, or LA3. Let's turn to that membership newsletter. The membership newsletter is just so easy. To, but to make it even easier, I've now made a video for you about it. Here you go, baby. <laughs> it's the LA newsletter. The LA newsletter is delivered 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, via member alerts at YouTube. And there's Monday through Friday. And here you are. This is the YouTube alert for members. Go down in the alert to the lower in the alert. Go down, go down. There we go. Go down past the guy with the surfboard. Below that, yes. Below that. And at the bottom, it says view post. There's a button that says view post. Click the button. And I'll send you right into the LA newsletter. And you're ready to rock and roll. You're ready to apply for some checks. You're ready to get that worksheet. You're done. That's the newsletter right there. That's what it looks like. And you're done. So simple. You want to see it again? Let's see it again. The LA newsletter delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Know your time zone via the YouTube alerts for members. This is what the alert will say for members only. New LLA post. That's what the alert says. That's what the first line says. LA newsletter today. It's so simple. It looks always like that. It's very, very simple. Look at the time on the call upper right, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So then you go down the alert at the bottom of the alert, very, very bottom. There's a button and it says view post. Go to the bottom below the guy at the surfboard and click view post. Click the button view post and that will send you right into the newsletter and you are ready to rock and roll. So simple, so simple and you are done. It's, 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 life is not that difficult. It's very, very easy. You deserve this incredible money. Get these incredible money starting right now. The U.S. economy is already in a recession, but the part of this recession that is important for you, of course, is the inflationary aspect as well. Why is that inflation so important for you? The inflation is so important for you because of what it does for your benefits. Let's go over that discussion right now. Your benefits are looking to raise approximately $5,000 a lifetime. What's going on? Your benefits are tied to a benchmark called COLA, C-O-L-A. It's tied to a benchmark called CPI-W. Yes, it's a subsection of the CPI we just went over. And if the CPI continues to go higher, then COLA goes higher and your benefits go higher. But there's a catch. It's only dependent upon three months of data. Per year, only three months. So you got to look at those three months. And which of those three months? We're going in them right now. July's month, August's month, and September's month. Now, the data is released a month later, of course, but we're experiencing the first month of data right now. If that CPI-W is high, then your benefits go up high. Now, what do we know? We know that the CPI release this last Wednesday was through the roof. 
we know that inflation has not come back down. It's still going up to 9.1%. That's great news. You want to get this locked into the best rate possible. And this is astronomical. How high are we looking at this and what would happen? Let's go over everything you need to know first. As Bob Bacon asked two nights ago, is this for everyone? Yes, it's for Social Security recipients, SSI, SSDI, railroad benefits, and veterans benefits. Next, another viewer said, is it automatic? It is automatic. Number three, another viewer asked, is it everyone $5,000? No, it, everyone gets the same percentage. Everyone gets the same percentage lift, but how much that pays out to you depends on how much your current benefits are, but it could be upwards of $5,000. Could it be higher? Absolutely. As Terry and a lot of viewers have been sending me messages in the live chat or on private messaging, there's a lot of analysis out there that says maybe the CPI could be going a lot higher. At the moment, based upon what I see, if the CPI stays where it is for three, mom, three more months and doesn't come down, you're really good. You're looking at about $5,000 more per month. Now, if it goes higher, that could be even more money across the board. Wow. That's why you have to watch the videos. That's why you got to tune in because we're watching really two data points. We're watching inflation and recession. Inflation because obviously it impacts your benefits and recession because it impacts your cost of living. And you need to get stimulus as fast as possible, as much as possible. And as the recession, which is already underway, gets more severe, then you need to get a lot more stimulus because people are going to stampede for stimulus when it gets dramatic. Now, out of nowhere, here's some fun and some laughter for us. There was a hysterical moment that happened uh, overnight. Did you miss it? <laughs> a pop singer is now involved with your stimulus. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> what? A pop singer is now involved with you being stimulated. Oh, it's Madonna. I know Madonna. It's just, I know it's Madonna. Because if you say we're getting stimulated, then it's Madonna. Let's get stimulated. That was her song. No, that was Olivia Newton John. Uh, <laughs> let's get physical. No, no, no. Uh, so, someone's about, uh, talking about us getting stimulated. Well, it must be Madonna. Who is it? Well, let me give you the backdrop. Uh, one pop singer yesterday uh, had an issue. Uh, with the stimulus not getting done from Congress, not not this not the stimulus we're going over in this recording, the the stimulus from Congress. So she was not happy with it, uh, and and what did she do? She started tweeting. She was unhappy, and so what pop singer is this? It's Cher. <laughs> Cher, yeah, Cher, Cher was unhappy that the Build Back Better Act has not gotten done, and she has gone after Joe Manchin. I kid you not. This is not. This is not a joke for Sir Light. This is actually happening. Sir, Cher is unhappy with Joe Manchin. Cher is very, very unhappy with Joe Manchin, and so she has been tweeting up a storm uh, against Joe Manchin. Um, you know, I, I think that Cher is very well connected. She knows a lot of other pop singers that this could look good. She could be part of the Purple Power community. You know, Purple Power Push, bring in a lot. If you're new to this channel, Purple Power community is what we call this channel. And the Purple Power Push is where we advocate. I think that she has a lot of clout. She could bring a lot of other pop singers in that could do some really good pushing for the Purple Power. Uh, for example... <laughs> I think it's very important that we get Chuck Schumer to call the vote on the Bill Back and Rack. And I think she shouldn't list Lizzo for that. Mm. It's about damn time. <laughs> you know, the very popular song. It's about damn, damn time uh, from Lizzo. And it should be re orchestrated uh, as an anthem to call the vote on the Bill Back and Rack. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, I th you know, I think we should ho shoot high on this one. I really do think. I think we should shoot high. I think Cher should reach out to Beyonce. Uh, no, not Michonse. <laughs> no, no, no. We're reaching out to Beyonce. Uh, and I think we should uh, re-release -re the song, um, Break My Soul. You're not going to break my soul. You're not going to break my soul, um, Joe Manchin. You're not going to break my soul. And then I think the best song that would really do this well, there's a new duet out there. Have you seen this new duet? duet? It's, a, it's a new collab. No, it's not the collab. Uh, that's my favorite word, collab. Collab collaboration because it's just it takes too much breath to say collaboration 
Oh, I'm exhausted to say collab. <laughs> It's a new collab out there from Charlie Perth and Jung Jong from uh, BTS, the um, the wonderful um, uh, pop group. And the song is called Left and Right. <laughs> yeah, this is just Mitch's theme song waiting to happen. <laughs> left and right. And the lyrics are basically, every time you draw me, I go left and right, I go left and right. Uh, I, I, is this a theme song for Joe Manchin or is this a theme song for the entire Bell Bell Better Act? I, 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 I think that Cher should just enlist them all. <laughs> enlist them all. Charlie Purr, Jung Jong, Beyonce. And, you know, uh, I think we would be in a good situation. And then when they call the vote, it's about damn time. <laughs> We could have Lizzo, you know, dress up from the disco and look, and we would be all ready. If you don't know how these singers are, go watch the YouTube videos for them, and you'll appreciate the humor. Mm -hmm. And with that, join me next on Evening's LA coming up at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Uh, Cher, keep it up. Keep it up. You know, Joe Mancha today, Christina Lima tomorrow. Keep it up, Cher. Uh, if, if, if there was ever a, a pop singer that needed to get involved with your stimulus, I think she is the one. Um, I'm very stimulated by this news. <laughs> and with that, don't forget to become a member. Stay with me because Evening's LA is coming up later at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Go right in this video, become a member. Provo Hawk, Burn Up Outcast, you know, VIP. Get these incredible checks across the land. And with that, God bless. I told you there's a lot of breaking news this weekend. You cannot tune off this channel on the weekends. Make sure you watch LA on Saturdays and Sundays. Don't go uh, to the Lobster Fest and come back with too much lobster sauce on Monday. You need to watch the videos on the weekend because you never know when Cher has something to say. And with that, have a beautiful afternoon and stay with LA for more. <laughs>